Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I've got a craft buddy parcel and yeah, it's one of, oh, sorry, uh, hubby's watching Mrs. Brown's boys, I think. So that's what the laughing is downstairs. Uh, when he watches it, he has a very, very loud laugh. So I do apologise, but at least he's happy. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, this is two boxes that I've been uh, sellotaped together. So I'll get into these and we'll have a look at what we've got. Just bear with me a second. Okay, so box number one. I may split this into two. I don't know. We'll see how we go because I have got quite a bit in here. Okay, so this is the reason that um, I put the order in because I've been waiting for these limited edition cards to come back into stock. And it's a set of eight Best of British festive cards. They are a new artist to Craft Buddy. So it's, uh, does it say who the artist is? No. Um, I will have to find the artist's name. I did do a, a live interview with the artist, with uh, Sarah on the Craft Buddy Live um, website. So, yeah, uh, if you want to see that, it will still be up there. But she's a lovely lady and she has some fantastic ideas. And when this first came out, I think it sold in about an hour and I didn't get them. And, you know, I love my cards um, and I particularly like quite a lot of these pictures. They're just wonderful. So I'm just going to have to have this. So I think what I'll do is do this box and show you the cards and the other part that came in this. And then I'll do box number two on a separate video. OK, um, I did get one of the uh, stickers as well. Uh, we'll have a look at this. We'll have a look at the cards in a moment. Um, I've got a happy birthday sticker. It's quite handy to have. Okay, we've had the stickers before. Um, yeah, I mean, that is a really nice size sticker. It's quite clear. Um, they actually, they, oh, that's the top covering. So your diamond paint uh, all underneath there. And then this is actually clear. So if you can see there, around the edges of the sticker is actually clear. And in the middle of the sticker there, like in the middle of the hearts, is actually clear. So when you put your sticker down, you won't have all these white bits in the middle. You will just have the sticker and it will be clear. And that's quite a nice focal point to put on a card or put on a present. Um, or, you know, if you uh, put it on a mirror or something, if you're decorating with balloons and then it will peel off afterwards um, and you can reuse it uh, if you're sticking it on a mirror or something. Obviously, if you're sticking it on a card, um, it possibly wouldn't peel off. But uh, yeah, I just thought that's just an extra for my little stash that I wanted. Um, what I was doing was spending the uh, extra to get the free gift. <laughs> Guess you know me, I like to get a freebie. Okay, so we've got a little teeny tiny bit of wax, which is quite sweet. Um, they're doing the white boats now with like like the green boats with like a little bit of a, a funnel shape there. And you get your um, customised pen that says Crystal Art on it 
with your old style uh, three play set and your single placer on this end so yeah i mean that's more than enough to do this little sticker and then the gems that you get with it oh we've got a lovely limey green color a lovely like, ambery gold and then a yellowy gold and a pink and a blue and oh look at all the little love hearts that you get as well they're all to go across the bottom there look that's all your love hearts are going to be nice pink sparkly hearts so yeah i mean to be fair if you were say wanting to use this for a male or somebody that wasn't going to appreciate having lots of hearts across the bottom you could actually just snip that off um, you know it's only just joined there so you could use those hearts on something else because you know those colors um are quite generic for anybody really but uh, as i say i certainly my hubby would say what have you put all those hearts on that for if i sent him that one so yeah you can just snip those off and use them for something else but i just thought that was quite nice as so i was just making up to uh, the amount to get the free gift <laughs> as you do I just put this back into its bucket and yeah this is one of the uh, crystal art jewelry kits i have shown it in a previous unboxing because i did get uh, one with my previous uh, craft buddy order and uh, they were still on offer i'm not sure that they are still on offer now but it does just show you how good their jewelry kits are they're very comprehensive um, that's one of the old style kits that you've got there with a few little grip seal bags you wax your boat and your green boat and just your pink pen there but yeah the jewelry kits um they do quite a few different ones they've got a christmas one out at the moment it's got a gorgeous penguin and like a white wolf in it oh, but i keep looking at it and thinking no don't get it don't get it but uh, yeah it's on my wish list shall we say so this is uh, showing you how to uh, diamond paint your pendant uh, it shows you what you get your pendant your jump rings your key ring a necklace chain a magnet or a pin brooch so you could actually turn it into one of four things you can use it as a necklace as a key ring as a magnet so you could use it as a cover minder or as a brooch and then you get your crystals you wax your pen your boat and then you get your glue which is extra strong glue like jewelry glue so be very careful with this i wouldn't really let the children around this because I would lighten it to super glue. I'm not sure that it is exactly super glue, but it's a similar sort of thing. So you get your poppy blank there. And what you do is put your glue into each of the little uh, like indents where your gems go. And then just pop your gem onto the top. And once the gems are set in this, then they don't move. They are there. You don't need to then seal it with anything this glue will hold them in as it is like it is like a jewelry glue and there is a little hanger there so if you do want to put your necklace through you can do and i've seen uh, a couple of ladies now on the uh, craft buddy facebook group that actually covered that over with a gem because they didn't want it as a necklace and they didn't want that showing and another lady actually chopped, just cut that off um, but it is nice as a pendant. Um, you do get a decent sized pendant. Let me just. Where's my scissors gone? Oh, the magnet's stuck on the outside on this one. Let me just open this. Go on, they're big scissors. Give me neck. <laughs> Those scissors mean business. So, yeah, let's just. Here, have a look at these. So, I'm going to put that magnet in that packet with the jump ring. So, that's if you're wanting to use it as a magnet to stick on something. Or as I say, you could use it as a cover winder. You've got your little brooch clasp there, which again, you would just put your glue on the back and then leave it to set so that it's uh, nice and well, well, well and truly stuck. You've got uh, your key ring, which you can use it as a bag charm or a key ring, whichever you want to do. You know, they're a nice quality. These are a good heavy quality. And then this is your necklace. So again, it's just a plain, like, well just a plain strand necklace just a chain and i think we measured it was it about 18 inches is it a bit longer it's a bit longer than that isn't it where have i put my date measure <laughs> oh look there's another jump ring escape there don't lose that oh goodness let me get these back in this packet before they all disappear all right 
Well, let me just measure this. So I'll need to times it by two. So, oh, it's 30 centimetres. So it will be uh, 60 centimetres chain. Um, and it's 12 inches so it's 24 inches so it's a good size chain you know it would it would hang quite uh, far down your neck um, and you know be quite comfortable that so that's the little freebie that I got with it but as I said the other jewellery kits that they do uh, are all on a same, similar theme there. they are all on a similar theme my mouth's just not working today uh, so we've got green, red and just your standard um, resin black. They are resin drills that Craft Buddy use. So, yeah, okay. So that's that one. As I say, I have had one before. So apologies um, if you've uh, just watched me unboxing exactly the same thing again. Right, so let's have a look at these cards. Okay, it is a set of cards. And a beautiful box. One thing with Craft Buddy that I love, the packaging is brilliant. You really feel like you're getting a present uh, or you're treating yourself because it just comes so well packaged and it's so nice. And I have got a lot of these boxes still because I like to keep them because I like the boxes. <laughs> but I am, I am going to have to have a bit of a clear out, I think, and get rid of them. So, yeah, again, it tells you what you've got. And it gives you a little diagram on how to diamond paint there. And then that's all the social media there as well. And all about the company. So, oh, look at this. This is good. We have a little chart that has the DMC codes and all the key codes for each of the cards on here, which is brilliant. Um, it also shows you. That this is the card and then it's a partial drill so it just shows you the bit that actually gets the gems or uh, drills put onto it which you know that's that's really impressive I like that um, and it's something you can keep in your little notebook as well so as you do each card if you want to keep um, for each card you've done you can pop that into your little love book your little notebook yeah hmm. I like that really uh, impressed with that and then is this one just telling you, yeah, this one's just telling you about Craft Buddy, telling you what you've got in your kit um, and just advertising other things that are available from them as well. And again, your social media on the bottom there. Okay, got our two diamond painting pens, usually about 20 little grip seal bags in there. There's two of your little white boats with the spouts. I do like the white boats. Um, I don't know, I just think white, with, uh, particularly with sort of shiny purple on it, just looks really classy and real professional. And then a big bit of wax. Okay, so again, enough to do your project, enough to do your cards there. Okay, so let's have a look at these cards. Uh, rather than if you buy them individually, they come individually packaged and the drills are all separate and you would get um, a toolkit in each one. They just include the two now, which is good. I like that idea. Okay, let's have a look at these. I'm not going to um, open all of the drills because you know it will be a bit repetitive and it will make the video hugely long. So we have, oops, we've got a little bit bent. They just need flattening a little bit. We've got our eight envelopes there and they're a nice quality envelope they're not like a see-through one and um, they do have sticky on the uh, flap there but i tend to just use a tape pen now or sell a tape things down now because uh, with what's been going on in the world for the last year that's just uh, how i roll at the moment okay so that's your envelopes nice quality one two three four they're all slightly different ways around. Six, seven, and eight. Okay, so we've got eight cards. Now, each card has a unique code on the back, and that code will relate to the set of diamonds that you get. Now, that one says seven at the end there, and this one says five at the end. So let's see if we can find seven. Yep, that's number seven. So, yeah, you've got 
they're exactly the same code there and there and each bag of gems has that code on it so if you're doing them all at once and one bag happens to stray into a pile with one of the other uh, lots of gems then you will still be able to uh, match that bag of gems up to that card okay they're an 18 centimeter by 18 centimeter card which is basically about seven inches by seven inches they do come blank inside so you can add your own verse on here or just handwrite something if your handwriting's like mine <laughs> i never handwrite anything what i tend to do um is get a piece of a4 um, paper and just print a little verse out and then fold it in half and put it on the inside um, or you can use stamps or there's quite a few of those like little peel off verses now that you can get for card making and so you've got your logo and everything on the back there but that's your candles with the church window in the back and as it shows you on the little diagram all the background you don't diamond paint it is just literally all this part here and they're always really good clear drill fields easy to do and they come out so sparkly and so pretty and i do have trouble actually sending the christmas cards and the birthday cards out because i like them and i want to keep them all <laughs> just have a quick look at one set of gems then for one for this uh, christmas card okay so Candle's going to be really pretty that with all the holly leaves around it and your uh, little fair cones in there as well. So these are resin uh, drills. So we've got a green, a brown, a fawny colour, a paler green and a darker green. And then in your sparkly gems, we've got two shades of red, two shades, oh, three shades of gold. So they are all round gems, those. Um, but yeah, really, really nice good quality and you seem to always get plenty as well to finish your project off and then the last one oh that's nice we've got a little logoed bag as well grip seal bag not seen that before either and lots of little slightly larger faceted round gems which will be all the little uh, holly berries so that'll really pop that'll be really nice so i like that one i shall put those back into this crinkly bag so that I don't lose that extra one but again oh no that one hasn't got the uh, code number on it so yeah I have to watch out for that one make sure that stays albeit I'm sure I would realise that it needs to be a, a larger round one to go on there okay so that's card number one number two again I love look at the face on the Santa the artwork on these is superb and he's giving a present look to the little fat fluffed up robin he must be a bit cold because he's puffed himself up oh and we've got uh, holly in the co bottom corner here with all the berries and he's got his belt and he's got his sack over his shoulder and all the houses and the moonlight just think these are wonderful love them and you can buy the frames for them as well craft buddy do sell a frame so if somebody's wanting it to put it out year after year as like a little christmas picture they can do and um, i just hope when i send these out that people don't throw them away <laughs> if you do just don't tell me <laughs> i'll have them back <laughs> um so which is this one this one's number four uh is that one number four that one's number four so yeah he's uh, a mixture of your resin and your gems as well there uh, your resin drills and your little crystal gems okay so that's that one and then this one similar to another one that they've done again we've got a lot of holly in these but i do love holly I just think it's so Christmassy and just that pop of red in amongst the green is just wonderful. And we've got a licky robin down here and we've got one singing up there, which is lovely. And a little post box with the snow on our lovely snowy wintry scene there. So, yeah, very classic Christmas card, that one. So this one is number three, which I think we had over here somewhere. Yep, so this one is number three. So this one has a lot of your uh, gems in it. 
it looks like. In fact, actually, it might all be gems. Mm, just an odd resin one there, a black resin. So, yeah, lots of sparkle. Oh, yeah, look. I think this one's going to be all gems apart from just the little black bits, um, which it looks like they are on the pillar box, the post box. Okay, so that's that one. And we have another robin. I love robins. We have one in the garden that's really, really friendly. And it comes quite close up to you. They don't seem to be that afraid of people, which is good in a lot of respects because you do get quite close to them. Um, but yeah, he seems to come and sit on the back of the garden chair while you're in the garden and things like that. Really quite sweet. So this is again classic with a lovely church in the background. And he's sat on a Christmas lantern with all the... Now these actually, they're not holly berries, are they? I wonder if they're going to be white. I wonder if that's mistletoe or it's just old holly. We'll have a look. Because that's not really... Unless it's all the leaves have dropped off. <laughs> okay, so what number is this one? Oh, this is number two. So this is number two. So no, they are... Yeah, we've got some white there. No, they are all going to be uh, holly berries. So this is holly at the top there. Okay. So that's those, yeah. And then, oh, if you like CATs, then you will love this one. How cute are they sat on top of the post box? And what you could do is just personalise this, put the person's initial, or excuse me, I'll just have to let Lottie in. Okay, so yes, yeah, so we've got all the um, holly leaves around them, but look at the eyes and the nose and everything. And he's, he's got his little tail, look underneath his paw. Oh, how sweet is that? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's really cute. But there's quite a big drill area on this because you are doing quite a big part of the pillar box. Sorry, Lottie is just playing with all the rubbish that's in my bin now. <laughs> want to go back out go on then bye see you later isn't that strange that the dog just decides to come in <laughs> as i'm looking at some cats and then goes out when i finish looking at it that is really really funny okay uh, and that one is number five which is this one so uh, we've got uh, greens there oh, and lots of sort of gingery colours for the uh, cat there and yellows and things. So uh, yeah, they're going to be fun to do with these. Oh, and look at this one. How sweet is that? A little donkey looking at a little uh, border collie dog. There's definitely a look of love there, isn't there? They're obviously really good friends. And uh, yeah, this is one of my favourites. Absolutely just gorgeous the look on them is just absolutely wonderful so which number is this this is number six I don't know what that one is that one's number five i think so all right that one's number six sorry um i've not got my uh, magnifying glass with me uh, so yeah so lots of uh, browns for the fence and blacks and greys for the donkey and the dog and just an odd little red there. I think the red harness on the donkey is going to be gems. But uh, yeah, I love these. And then this one is number 84. Oh, that's jumped up. Which is this one, which is your poinsettia plants. Um, and again, we've got some holly berries there just to give it that extra bit of pop. So yeah, that's your holly berries there. And a few mixed of uh, your resin drills and your gems there. And my absolute favourite, isn't that just, oh, he's lovely. And he's got a little bit of holly in his mouth. And it's snowing and his hair's blowing. My fringe looks like that today. <laughs> I've just been out to the shops today and hubby didn't tell me that my fringe was stuck up all over the place. Um, yeah, it's because I put my glasses over my head um, while I'm trying to do things. And uh, yeah, when I put my glasses down, I'd not realised that my hair was all stuck up. So I must have looked like the wild woman of the West going around the shops today. <laughs> anyway, at least people stay away from you. <laughs> 
But yeah, can you just smoke that little nose and just put his fringe out of the way a bit to see his eyes. And then he again is a mixture of uh, your resins and your crystal gems there. So oh, that is so sweet. So yeah, that's a set of eight Christmas cards. And I must crack on and get these done. As I say, I do struggle to actually send them out to anybody. Um, because I love them, I love that one. That one and that one are my favourites. Um, if you're a cat fan, then you, you, you're going to really like that one. And Robins and Santa. And then your Christmas candles. Okay, well, that's the end of uh, part one of this unboxing. Uh, if you enjoyed seeing these, if you can give me a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And if you want to come back and see these completed and see part two, then if you press that little subscribe button in the corner and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come out. So thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.